All right, let's go to Proverbs 2015. Proverbs 2015. Proverbs, 20th chapter, 15th verse. Listen to this divine wisdom. There is gold and a multitude of rubies, but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Oh, I ain't got no help in it this morning. I better say that again. Because this is lacking among us. Reading again. There is gold. One thing to have gold. There's a multitude of rubies. All the jewelry you want to have. Hello, somebody. But it's more to life than gold and fine jewelry. He go a rare commodity. The rare commodity is the lips of knowledge is a precious jewel. Having the right thing to say at the right time don't come from you. It comes from God. Thank you, Lord, for your word this morning. Lips of knowledge. Also in the book of Proverbs, it's not on the stream. And I've got to say this, because parents are just as guilty as children. Proverbs tells us that you ought to go from the presence of a man who does not have words of knowledge. Uh -oh, uh -oh. If a man don't have words of knowledge, the only thing he got is words of foolishness. In Proverbs, it tell you that if you want to be wise, you ought to hang around wise men, and if you want to be a fool, you hang around fools, yeah? What, what, what you trying to tell us? I'm trying to tell parents and trying to tell children, you ought to watch the company that you keep. All your company ain't wise. And when you hang around the wise, you will become wiser. But if you hang around foolish people, hello. I'm talking about the book of Proverbs. That's all I'm doing. This is divine wisdom. This ain't human wisdom. Human wisdom is what you get from school, college, and university. But this divine wisdom that I'm talking about this morning, you only get it off of your knees. Hello? Can I shock y'all this morning? If some grandparents are more wiser than their educated grandchildren. Because the Lord gave them their wisdom. And through their God-given wisdom, they can look through what grandchildren be trying to see. Thank God for his word. Pastor, why have you been teaching this? Because I want the word of God to make the difference in your life and my life. Amen. That's why I'm preaching. That's why I'm teaching. Coming to church ain't going to change you. Come on, let me just drop the bomb this morning. Getting in the choir not going to change you. Getting on the usher boat ain't not going to change you. Only the word of God can change you.
You see, what most church members and church officers don't know, there's power in the word. That's what it is. It, it, it's in the word. And you get in the word, and the word will make a change in your life. Hallelujah, somebody. Let me close out before I get happy. Well, one final Proverbs. Proverbs 1 7, turn to it and I'll be through. Proverbs 1 7. Proverbs 1 7. Proverbs 1 7. And I understand why the world is headed for a fatal crash. I understand why the world is on its way to a fatal crash. Are you there? Listen. Proverbs 1 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning. I wish somebody helped me there. Hello. When you enroll in God's school of grace, the first lesson the Holy Spirit will teach you is to fear the Lord and not man. Come on. Pay attention with your heart. Pay attention with your eyes. Here it is. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. One thing I have found out, if a man or woman does not respect God, they won't respect his word. That's the first lesson parents and children need to learn. You need to reverence God. You need to stand in awe of who God is. Can I break it on down and tell you that in God's eyesight, when you are not in Christ, you ain't nothing but dust. In the beginning, God reached down. Out of the dust yeah. or the ground. Guess what he did? He breathed into man the breath of life. And God formed, hello, his body. I'm trying to show you. You don't have no reason to fear man. I heard somebody read that verse in Ecclesiastes. That's the verse I use to commit anybody to the ground. After I've said ashes to ashes, dust to dust, I remind the family, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It is to fear God and keep his command. Is anybody listening this morning? Is anybody listening this morning? You talking about your duty to your family, talking about your duty to man. What about your duty to God? This is the whole duty of man. Fear God and keep his commandment. All right, I haven't left. Proverbs 1 7. I mentioned the part. And see, I'm growing bolder in the Lord every day. I'm not afraid to tell people what the Lord say, whether they like it or don't like it. You can't change God's word, but God's word can change you. So I tell people, I don't need no phone call telling me somebody got mad this morning. Listen, I'm used to that. I've been preaching over 50 years, been pastoring over 35. Nothing new under the sun. Yes, if the word of God 
will allow you to become angry in order for you to change, let it make you mad. Because we have to measure up to God's standard. We cannot bring God's standard down. And God has a standard for all of us that is to be mature children of God. We got too many babies. But now I'm finna read this B part. Look at look in the Bible with me. So don't think Pastor Leonard made up anything. I don't care what man say about you. Because man can't have the last word over you. I'm gonna tell you that right now. The preacher don't have the last word over you. God got the last word over you. And God got all of our records. How many know God got all of our records? I mean, he got all of our records. He got books, B-O-O-K-S, according to Revelation, and it records everything we have said and everything we done done. So, so, so you stop passing that on, talking about the preacher got the last word. No, God got the last word. Now, here it is. You looking at it? I talked about Proverbs 1, 7, 8. But this is the bond. Pick up the bond. That needs to explode in these local churches. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's what I said. The word of God said, so I'm repeating it loud and clear. Nothing but a fool despise. Look down on King Stan, what God says. Know why you can't handle it? Because the book says the natural man can't receive these things. You see, that's in that proper now. Can receive these things, they ain't nothing but foolishness unto him. But now, y'all looking at your Bible? We offer many excuses, but the book says the reason why you don't want divine wisdom and you don't want divine instruction is because you are a fool in the eyesight of God. Is that in your Bible? Come on, look at me, strange. Look in the Word of God. Anybody that thinks they can do without God and His Word is a fool. Is there, y'all? Listen. But fools despise wisdom. And instruction. Can I tell y'all something this morning? You won't text it. Can I tell you something this morning? You won't text it. But everybody want to text it. Everything but the word of God. Isn't that strange? You, you text your thoughts, what you think. But I need to tell you this morning that your thoughts ain't none of God's thoughts. Your words ain't none of God's words. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are God's ways higher than your way. And God's thoughts higher than your thought. Text it if you want. I was a fool until... I got into God's word, not for sermons, but for my own life. I can get into the Bible and get sermons, but do I ever get into the Bible to apply what I read to myself? 